Matrix. How's everybody doing out there? This is the Jay Xavier Sports Show, and today we're going to be discussing the Jaguars' free agents. Now, I'm going to be, um, you know, giving you guys my top five available, um, well, I guess top five free agents that I feel like the Jaguars need to sign. Uh, the top five targets that need that they need to be targeting, in my opinion. Um, now, this is with the assumption that Allen Robinson will not be back with the Jaguars. Uh, so I had that in mind while making my list. Aaron Colvin, I do feel like will be resigned by the Jaguars, uh, but my top five list, my top five list, pretty much reflects um, that Al, that Allen Robinson will most likely not be, uh, be with the Jaguars. So that was my thought process. But first, I want to touch on our free agents. Now, we all know about Allen Robinson and Aaron Colvin. If you want to know uh, my thoughts on Allen Robinson, you know, why we should resign him, why I think we will resign him, you can check out my previous videos uh, to those three reasons. Um, and as for Aaron Colvin, like I just said, I, there's no need to put a video out on that. I do think he will be resigned. Um, that's something I think that's obvious because we're trying to build through our defense, and he was a big part of that. You know, I feel like we're going to miss him more than we think if we were to lose him. So um, I think it would be a big deal that he gets re-signed. Now, as far as Allen Robinson is concerned, or I'm sorry, not Allen Robinson, Marquise Lee, uh, that's another guy that I know people say, hey, well, if Allen Robinson doesn't come back, hey, why not just re-sign Marquise Lee? You know, he's done so great for the Jaguars. I just don't see us going in that direction as well. You know, Marquise Lee has played, you know, pretty good for us these past couple years, but you got to look at it. If we can get that production from anywhere else, uh, we might as well go ahead and try to do that because you're going to be paying a guy for um, for a production we could get from most likely a, a second round draft pick, which Marquise Lee was. So, yeah, I just don't see the Jaguars going in that direction. Then you look at other guys like Aurelius Ben, uh, Matt Overton, Peyton Thompson, uh, guys like that, you know, expect to be back. Uh, Paul Plus Lesney, as much as I love Paul Plus Lesney, He's an all-time great Jaguar. I don't see him coming back. I feel like he wants to be a starter and then on another team. You know, we, he's going to be in a limited role if he comes back, just like he was last year. So I think he has too much pride. And he, he's still a pretty good player. So I feel like he's going to test the waters and uh, try to go play for another team, most likely. Um, now, other guys we've got to be looking forward to as well. You know, Jalen Ramsey, Unique Ngakwe, Miles Jack, um, even Dante Fowler. You know, those guys are going to be coming up soon to get paid and, 2019, 2020, 2021, you know, whatever. So as we're looking to re-sign uh, the guys we currently have on our roster, you know, the front office is also keeping in mind of the other guys we have to take care of as well. So it's nothing personal when we let these guys walk, you know. It's just it's just strictly business, you know. We can't keep everybody, you know. And that's part of being a good team. Sometimes we have to let good players walk. So uh, this is some of the tough decisions we have to make coming up soon. But this is why I love the NFL. This is why... Uh, NFL fans love the uh, the off season because it gives teams hope. You know, certain teams that are bad, they get a little hope by you know re-signing or overpaying for a guy that they think is going to be beneficial to their team. You know, look at Clayus Campbell and AJ Boye last year. How much success that brought our team. You know, so you uh, you can't really look at free agency always like it's a bad thing. You know, sometimes it can bring the team success and a good thing, and sometimes letting these players walks. Uh, you know, letting these players walk opens the door for other potential players to come on our team and, and ball out. So we can't really just uh, be upset about the players leaving. So now it's on to my, to my top five potential uh, free agents we need to be targeting. Um, I have two guards on the list, two tight ends and one wide receiver. Um, like I said, I did this list with the assumption that Allen Robinson wasn't going to be back uh, just to see what, you know, uh, you know, see, you know, see what type of players will end up on our team. So, but I do only have one wide receiver. So, I feel like if we don't sign Allen Robinson, we need to go uh, address that need in the draft. But anyways, uh, my number one uh, target for this offseason in the free agency will be Jimmy Graham. Now, I know people have heard this name before come up in the uh, talks of the Jaguars trying to sign him in the past, you know, when it came to us trying to get a tight end. Now, you saw we took chances on Julius Thomas. Uh, we even signed Michael Rivera last year. Uh, we didn't really expect much from him, but... You know, it just seems like we don't have good success in signing tight ends to our roster. So, Jimmy Graham, uh, if you watched his career in uh, New Orleans before he came to Seattle, 
you know, he went over a thousand yards and ten plus touchdowns twice. You know, he's pretty much like a wide receiver playing at tight end. So um, his numbers went down a little bit in Seattle, but you can understand that because Seattle was very run oriented, and we all know Russell Wilson's not an air it out type of quarterback. You know, he likes to run around and make uh, schoolyard plays. So I feel like Jimmy Graham, you know. Yes, he's going to an offense that was limited last year, but I feel like Bortles, you know, he's only scratched the surface of his potential, you know. Who knows how good Bortles can be, you know. Just think about if he has a player like Jimmy Graham, how far that can take the team and how, how much Bortles can grow, you know, because of that. So I feel like that'll be just a home run signing. Um, another tight end, number two on my list, uh, Trey Burton. Uh, we all remember Trey Burton making that uh, great play in the Super Bowl. Um, that's something that really intrigued me that's why he's on my list because you can literally plug him in um to most places on the offensive side of the ball as far as office offensive weapons go goes you can put him on special teams uh you can run numerous trick plays with him i feel like you can get him at a good you know bargain price and he can bring so much to the team so that's why i have him on my list um that's a potential target that i feel like we should be pursuing you know like i said he just bring so much to the team. He brings a different dynamic to what we have. You kind of remember when we had uh, Denar Robinson. Um, it didn't really work out that well, but I think Trey Burns a little different because he's a little bit more physical, can hold on to the ball a little bit better, has a little bit better hands, and he actually played uh, tight end in college for Florida. So, um, you know, it's very interesting to see how good he can be. So uh, that's an, uh, that's one target that I want to go ahead and – or that, that, you know, I want the Jaguars to pursue – so that's two tight ends so far. Uh, my next two guys will be two guards. Uh, the first one, Justin Pugh. Now, this guy, um, he's very, very good player. If you've seen the New York Giants play with um, Eli Manning the past couple of years, you've, you, 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 uh, you've seen his name. And Tom Coughlin's also coached. Um, you know, or he's also coached under Tom Coughlin as well. Um, so he's been with the Giants organization the past five years, and he's bought out pretty much five years. And... Um, I feel like he'll be a great addition to the team because Patrick Omame, uh, our, you know, our, our current left guard, he played good last year. But I feel like, you know, we can have a, a better player at that position. We need to upgrade that position, um, I feel like, this season. You know, Pat, like I said, Omame's not a bad player, but I feel like we can just upgrade that position and we can, um, you know, move on from Omame and, uh, you know, get a little better in that position. So uh, that's one guy. The other guy is Josh Sitton from the uh, Chicago Bears. Uh, he was recently with the, you know, if if you can remember, with the Green Bay Packers and won the Super Bowl with Aaron Rodgers. So he's also blocked for a Super Bowl winning quarterback, uh, just like uh, Justin Pugh. So, um, and then uh, Josh Sitton, you know, like I said, he's he's uh, won a Super Bowl. So he, he has that leadership in him. He's got a Super Bowl ring. You know, Jaguars are really attracted to free agents as one Super Bowl, if you haven't noticed, like Malik Jackson, things like that. You know, we like to sign guys that's coming off a Super Bowl. I remember one year we signed Chris Clemens, you know. Uh, he, you know, he's won a Super Bowl before. You know, we just like to sign guys like that who's been, who's had that experience and been through that. So uh, it would just add another veteran presence to the team. And guys in their 30s, you know, I know Josh Sitton's about 32, but usually guys that are that old and playing in the guard position, they still play at a high level. So I'm not really worried about his age or anything like that. So that'll be a good signing. And last but not least, my last guy on the list, I think the Jaguars should be. Uh, potentially trying to target in uh, 2018 free agency is Sammy Watkins. Now, um, we all know Sammy Watkins. I guess you could say he's he, he's had his ups and downs in the NFL. When most people think of Sammy Watkins, they think, oh, you know, he's been a huge disappointment or he, he wasn't worth the, the draft pick that he was selected. Kind of like almost how they feel with Bortles. But you got to look at it, man. Sammy Watkins is balled out in this, in a, uh, you know, in the NFL, in this, in, in this league before. You know, we see it on film, we see it on tape. It's just he hasn't been consistent with it throughout the whole season. And it could be a multitude of reasons of why that's the case. You got to think about it. He got traded last year to the Rams, you know, from the Bills. You know, Bills were just trading away anybody. So, you know, uh, it almost, you kind of almost wonder how his psyche was going into this year, playing with the Rams. You know, he put up decent numbers, about a little bit over 500 yards and uh, eight touchdowns, but... If we want, you know, if we want that the number one elite receiver, you know, with Allen Robinson potentially walking away, then I feel like we need to get the most out of Sammy Watkins. And if we can do that, I feel like we should, you know, definitely sign him in a heartbeat uh, because, you know, he's still young. He's only, you know, he's only 25, you know, so 
just the potential that he has. You know, his ceiling is very high, you know. And for what he's done in this league, you know, he hasn't been that much of a disappointment to where we can't take a chance on him. So that's my last guy I think we should be targeting in free agency. Um, other than that, man, let me, uh, you know, let me, uh, let me know of any other guys you, you know, think we should be targeting in free agency. Those are just my uh, top five targets. You know, obviously it's going to be very hectic, you know, when it comes up. And, you know, we're going to be surprised. We're going to be shocked in the things that they do or the, the, the players that they release. Um, but all in all, like I said, you know, we have a good front office. I trust in what they're doing. You know, they've been doing a great job since they've been here. So there's no reason to doubt them now. Uh, we just have to, you know, wait and see what's going to happen. You know, like I said, with the Allen Robinson situation, the Aaron Coleman situation. Um, but, hey, man, this is what the NFL is all about. It's all about the business, all about the offseason, about building your team up and, uh, you know, ready to make another run when the season comes around. But now we got to get through the business side of the, you know, of it. So, um, you know, we'll know here in the next couple of weeks, you know, uh, the free agents we'll have and all that. So I'm very excited. And uh, very excited to see who's going to be in that new Jaguar uniform coming up this year. But definitely uh, leave a comment, subscribe if it's your first time watching. Other than that, thank you. Go Jazz.